Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. So as promised, we are doing an unboxing of a truck GPS. So I'm hoping y'all guys can hear me fine. I hope y'all can see fine. So I pretty much ordered this off of Amazon. I will drop a link in the description below to um, if you just wanted to go ahead and look at it before I actually give it a test try. So um, let's go ahead without further ado and cut this thing open. Um, what I'm pretty much trying to do with this GPS is I was pretty much trying to find something that would be cost efficient and work as good as I needed to. Which pretty much, you know, a GPS that would not get me stuck down somewhere I had no business being. So let's go ahead and cut this thing open. Like I said, I did order this from Amazon. And, um, nope, not getting paid to do this review. Just pretty much trying to help out the next driver. Most people when they're coming into this industry don't have, you know, four or five hundred dollars to throw on a um, GPS, whether it be a Garmin or a Ram McNally. You know, me personally, I mean, I've been driving for a little while and I just can't see myself spending that amount of money on a GPS. And looking at the reviews of this GPS compared to the other GPS, as far as the Garmin and Ram McNally, man, I mean, they all seem like, I mean, they had a lot of people that had switched from those GPSs to come over to this particular one. So let's go ahead and see what we're working with. <clears throat> so we get the box, the GPS box that's in an Amazon box. So I guess instead of just shipping it like this, which makes a lot of sense to just go ahead and hide the, pr the product, so, I don't know what any of that means, but you see that right there? It is made in China. So if you're one of those ones that prefer American made um, products, this isn't one of them. Let's see if we can get a little more light over here. All right. So, <clears throat> open it down here from the bottom. Trying not to make this video too long. So it's the Orex GPS off of Amazon. I believe it's going for seventy dollars, seventy bucks for this. It's a seven-inch um, GPS. Let's see what else we got in here. Cool. We got a user's manual, English side right there. <clears throat> So we have a mount that comes already included. And then we have the USB. If y'all can see, I don't remember the correct term of that, but this is like the first USB back when the razors and stuff was out, man. The Motorola Razor phones. So that kind of tells me this may be an older GPS. I'm pretty sure it's probably going to need to be updated before I could even use it. Um, another USB this goes to the computer I guess if you wanted to um, update it to the computer or something I would assume and uh, I don't know what that's for maybe it's a, a stand mount I guess to mount it to the back of the GPS and just prop it up um, let's see if there's anything special in this user's manual Looking for it in Spanish. This ain't the one. Everything's all English. So let's go ahead and take this out of the plastic right here. All right, so it looks like it does already have a screen protector on it. I like that. Um, first impressions, it doesn't feel too bad. It's kind of hard, stiff. Up top, we have a power button right here to the right. On the side over here, we have the USB. This looks to be like a reset button. Oh, nope, the reset button is back here on the back. Reset button back here on the back, and we got speaker ports right here. Um, we got a 
SD slot right here. A headphone jack. And maybe that's a voice to text or something like that. So um let me go ahead and plug this thing up and um we'll see what it do. Alright, so plugging it up right here to the right, you can see that there is a red light on. I guess that tells us that there's power to it. Let's go ahead and plug the actual GPS in. So it plugs in on the right side. Let's see what happens. All right, automatically comes on. Thought I saw a red light over here. Oh, see a red light in there. Oh, Rex. <clears throat> So we got charging battery levels up here. Obviously that's the incorrect date and time. So we got GPS navigation up here. It has FM radio on it. There's like a date time, maybe a calendar thing going on over here. I'm assuming Navi configuration. I'm assuming that's where we configure the settings that to make it to be, you know, a truck GPS. We have a volume, GPS information and settings. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on nav configuration and see what it says. So, okay, so that looked like that's want me to put in an address or something. Or maybe it's an update. I'm gonna exit out of that. Let's go ahead and go to settings. So you can hear it, the noise in the background beeping when you um, click on the stuff. So we can, I guess I'll click on system information right here. Oh, that's not doing me anything. It looks like it's an eight gigabyte uh, device, so. If that helps anybody 256 megabytes of ram that kind of makes me think that this may be slow um, let's click on gps navigation so let's click on route options um alternative let's see what that does I don't do anything. Route settings. Okay, so I went to the route settings and the vehicle now it says car. Let's see what are our options. We have car, pedestrian, bicycle, I guess emergency personnel. We have bus, taxi, and truck. So I'm assuming if I can click on this right here, I can edit the truck. Okay, so a truck, know, leave it a truck, max speed, I don't like that it's showing in that, I would prefer it to show in miles per hour, confirm parameters of each rock planning, sure, see I don't understand, I need to change that. Axles, makes me a lot of weight, actual weight, freight. So let's see if we can go in the settings somewhere and change that, but I am gonna go ahead and put that on truck. Navigation mode, on road, route planning method, fast, highways, um, period charge, I don't know what that is. We got tolls, ferries, unpaved roads. I'm gonna click more, no, we'll go ahead and close that, go back. So I need to figure out a way to go into the settings and make it show miles per hour and not, um, what is that, kilometers? So what is this? Country information. Okay, let's see if we can find our country in here. If it's in alphabetical order, we'll probably be all the way at the bottom. Maybe if I put it on the United States, Alabama, who knows? Country I'm from, let's put it on Texas. United States. I'm in North Carolina right now. I wonder if that'll make a big difference. Expressway, something like that. That's just saying info. Oh, that's information. Computer. 
So we got all this stuff on here that we really don't need. So it's like a lot of included stuff for, uh, I guess, pretty much making it like a little phone. But I don't need all that. Maps. Let's see if we can go to map settings. Um, don't need that. Jill, <laughs> natural voice. Okay, there we go. Change our distance to miles and feet. Fuel economy to oh shit. miles per gallon US. The weight we want. We want short time, metric time, I guess. Currency. Let's cancel that back. Time format: 12 hours. All right. Let's hope that works. Vehicle, truck, navigation mode, on road. Yep. I don't need ferries. Go ahead and finish that. All right, so let's go back to the GPS again and try it again. Also, this is what the map looks like right here. Okay, we got miles per hour, our speed over here. Let's go to menu, route options, create a new route. Um, current GPS, set the start point, we'll disable the GPS receiver. Okay, we well, don't need that. So now what? Plus sign. Okay, this. Let's just type in some keywords. All right, we'll just type in Houston. See what happens. Houston. Oh, snaps. Okay, we got 61 results in Houston. Type the results of each category. All right, what we got? Asherville. So I'm close to Asherville, so we'll just do Houston Circle and see what comes up. I guess that's showing where that's at. I'm gonna click select. Length, all right. Our height should be 13.6. Oh crap. Oh crap, hold on. 13.6, done. Trailer, axles, one, two, three, four, five. Maximum uh, weight 40 tons, which is 80,000 pounds. Actual weight, they're gonna put 40. Done. Freight doesn't really matter. Width, I guess I'm gonna leave that at that. I know we're longer than that, I believe. Where's it? What? So I believe we're about 70 feet long, or maybe 75, but I'm gonna just put 70. And press OK. And I guess this shows your current GPS position and where you're going. Press go. So I guess if you don't press go, it'll go for you. This one says put on truck. Go. And distance you're going is 20 miles so I mean so far it looks like I mean it just pretty much looks like I need to play with around with it a little more um, that's pretty much it I'm gonna continue playing with the settings get everything set up for me to use it um, I'm gonna run this for about four weeks and then I'll go ahead and give y'all you guys a review but anybody that can't wait for the review it's the Orex GPS find it on Amazon it's about 70 bucks I believe it might price it might have gone up a little bit but um yeah stay tuned for the actual four four week review on this GPS and we'll go from there so um once again I appreciate you guys for watching make sure you share like subscribe 
and uh, we'll keep them coming out.